Ladies and gentlemen, it is I, John Great Namia, and welcome back to Let's Play Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Now you might be wondering where is my face, and this is actually a voiceover, so you might be also wondering why am I doing a voiceover. Well, because the original clip that I recorded, the original recording of this Let's Play, the audio is messed up. It was messed up like a lot of noises so I had to remove my face cam and that's why I decided to do a voice of it instead of the normal video format and so since we've uh, managed to recruit Jessman one royal knight after meeting Gangrumon and obtaining the steel will we should now we are now left to deal with uh, to recruit two more royal knights and also uh, before going there, I think that we have some few cases that uh, uh, we can solve just before that. So I think uh, let's go solve this, those cases first. Here is our first case called a pet Digimon. The client Kabuterimon, the place Shinjuku. Details, my master has always treated me well, but things have changed. Why? Please help me, I'm so lonely. So let's head there. Here we are meeting Kabuterimon for the first case. So uh, basically, Kabuterimon is telling us that he has a, a master, the child master. So he went away from the master to, to train for a while, and he was originally Tensamon. Now he has digivolved to uh, becoming Kabuterimon and returned to his master. But unfortunately, his master ran away. So that is why he filed this case for us to help him investigate and get uh, and find back his master. And so, uh, Kabuterimon suggested a few places where we can start off to find her. The places are the Eden entrance, community area, or some free areas. So he basically suggested a few areas inside Eden where we can find his master. So I then start uh, go to Eden to explore. The first area that we went to was the uh, Eden entrance. So I explored a little bit here in the Eden entrance. Didn't find anything helpful, no exclamation marks, no lock symbols. So I went uh, to ha go ahead to another area. The next area being the Eden community area. Same thing I did. I went around the whole map, didn't find anything helpful. No exclamation marks, no locks, symbols on people's heads. And so uh, I decided to go to the next area, which is the free area. And something interesting happened. It's straight cut to a cutscene where we encounter a royal knight, which is Kintoro's mind. So we have somehow encountered a royal knight in the middle of a case. And boom, yeah, straight. Uh, we went straight into a fight with him. And of course I thought it was a, that this was an actual boss fight, but now this is just another plot armor fight. If you can see that's zero damage. So that fight was cut short and then course, weakling, so slow, you'll never catch me. <laughs> and then Kentaurus one just fled the scene. Then we, we, we report this thing to Kyoko, because Kyoko suddenly contacted us about this, because he, she apparently listens to wherever we go. Uh, and so she tells, told us to report back to the, she, to the agency to discuss this to an Omnimon. So here we are back at the agency. So, in, in reporting this to uh, Omnimon, and in ta talking about Kintaurusmon and the speed, he then uh, suggested the solution, which is to match his speed, we must recruit Alphos Vidromon, who with his incredible swiftness. And then Kyoko uh, went on about her theory of multi-dimensional, multiverse shit, blah blah blah, and she suggested about a name, some, since someone that we can refer to, which is Mire, our Digilab girl. So after this discussion, I decided to return back, resume our original case, which is helping Kabuterimon. So we went back to the free area where Kentaurusmon interrupted and found this hacker boy. And this hacker boy told us something, maybe Kabuterimon didn't digivolve strong enough, you know. So that was his solution.
I then returned to Kabuterimon to give him the Hacker Boy suggestion solution, which is maybe digivolving more to become stronger. He then uh, suggested that we helped him train by fighting us. And so we fought Kabuterimon. And of course, my boy Neptune Man, MVP, is one skill. Boom, one shot, one kill. Vortex penetration. Awesome. Then after the fight, Kabuterimon realized that it would take a really long time to really digivolve some more to get really strong. And so he really wants to fix his relationship with his master real quick. So he suggests us to maybe ask someone else for another different solution. And then we found this old man in Ueno. And this old hacker advice is like probably which makes more sense actually. The the Kabuterimon's mindset is a little girl, so the girl was probably frightened of uh, seeing Kabuterimon instead of the old Tenzoman that she was used to. Uh, so we went back to tell Kabuterimon at uh, the old hacker's de-digivolution uh, solution, and it made sense to him. And this uh, solved the case. Yeah, you can look at him. He agreed to. The Digivolve. So then we uh, went back to report and return the case. Case in done. And after that, uh, I uh, the clash with Kintaro's one piqued my interest, so I couldn't resist but go meet with Mire, as Kyoko told us to. And here, Mire is giving her wisdom mm -hmm. giving her wisdom about the uh, I don't know multiverse shit whatever yeah the parallel universe something yeah that stuff and then she talks about that we need to create a new Digimon that was born with special skills and we need two things Harmonious Will and Steel Will. Now we already got Steel Will from uh, meeting Gankumon and recruiting Jessmon. We only need to find Harmonious Will next. And so that made me wanted to ask Mire where can I find this Harmonious Will. Then she told us that maybe we should probably uh, try to find the other world at first and, and then come back to Kintosmon later. So then I thought, why not I complete the other cases first before I continue back on hunting down or recruiting the or fellow royal knights. So this is the uh, next uh, case, which is uncovering the seventh riddle. And so in this case, we have to go meet this boy, which uh, there's an incident that happened at his school that there are seven riddles. And this little boy has uh, like solved about six of them. And the last riddle is uh, regarding about a monster that wreaked havoc at this kid's school. And so that is what we have to do here. We have to try and help uh, solve the seventh riddle. And so then uh, we finally found uh, this monster in the seventh riddle that the kid described. And uh, fortunately enough, it was Wizardmon at Digimon. So, of course, like any other case, you have to fight this Digimon, a boss fight. And this fight was surprisingly uh, not easy, you know, as I thought it, like, it would be like a one hit kill from Neptune Mon. And she took some time. So, I whipped out my Imperial Drummon, Positron Laser, a bit overkill there, but hey. It got the job done. And then Wizardmon apologized and uh, said that he meant no harm to wreak havoc. And then boom, case solved. Now that's the second case uh, solved now. We have to uh, solve the last case available, which is another case at Digipedia. Now if you guys remember last time, the case at Digipedia, the culprit was Tentomon. Because Tentomon was editing some uh, pages on Digipedia. Now we've got to find this new other culprit that the site administrator told us about. So hey why not we do it like last time uh, connect, j connect jump into the website. 
no, boom we're in this digital space and eventually we found and the culprit happened to be metal ethermon another boss fight interesting metal ethermon is a mega a level digimon so i hope this would be like a really fun boss fight and uh well supposedly enough wizardmon was a bit tougher than a uh, metal ethermon Probably because I used more effective Digimons against this guy, so I whipped out Omnimon, used Supreme Cannon, boom, guy's dead. Uh, also because a Neptune Mon beat, it dealt a lot of damage to Metal Ethermon first. But hey, we got the job done. After that, we report back to the admi admin, the Digipedia site, and that was all soft, and boom, case solved. We return back to uh, detective agency's office to uh, ret uh, turn in the case and boom. Now we can finally continue back and focus on Kintarusman and hunting down the next royal knight. As Mire said we should probably focus on other uh, royal knights first before continuing to Kintarusman. So, here we are in Shibuya trying to hunt down a Magnamon. As you see there, it became a little bit invisible uh, to get past those guards. I mean, actually those are soldiers, military soldiers. So now we are in uh, right now the Shibuya Labyrinth. And let me tell you something about this labyrinth. This labyrinth was freaking huge. It took me a long time, about 40 minutes to get through this and to finally find Magnamon. So I cut here straight to the uh, railway tracks that leads us to uh, meeting Magnamon finally at the end of this labyrinth in Shibuya. We can see that boom fall in the distance Magnamon finally good this guy. Could this guy be on our side? Let's check this out. So you want me to help protect this world? I'm sorry but I can't answer you just now. Ooh, why not? In all honesty, I am still of two minds. Two minds? The destruction of the eaters and wishes in our world was caused by the cyberspace that humans created. Many Digimon believe that the reason such hideous things were born lies in the human heart. Human heart, huh? Mm. If that's true, humans are a threat to all worlds. Leopardmon's cause of action would therefore be correct. Nah. Was bad. I then came here and found Digimon being used as tools by evil humans. Not by me, man. Chill. Not all of us are bad by then. There are those like you working to undo the situation. Yeah, exactly. I really don't understand you humans. Which side truly embodies what humanity is about? Ooh. I had some companions as well. Oh, some friends. When the two worlds were joined, I brought my tiny companions here to save them from the eaters. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, we were separated amongst all of the ensuing chaos. Damn, it's not good. They are still young and frail. They might have been captured by evil humans. Hmm, if something happened to them, I would not forgive the human race. I will determine my position towards humanity based on their fate. Damn, but I can have an idea on who these two Digimons are and I feel like we have let's get them info oh no Kia interrupts suddenly just came out of nowhere Choto mate wait okay she suddenly pops out, out of nowhere okay so she went to the agency told her that Magnamon's here okay hmm why why has she been looking for him <gasps> no way. It's the two Digimon that we rescued in past cases. <gasps> oh my god. Now, Magnamon's definitely going to be on our side this time. Hell yeah. These humans. <gasps> oh my god, yeah. Hell yeah. Only one came to. This can help convince Magnamon even easier. Hell yeah, it is an error to eliminate them as dangerous. Oh, yep. Come on, convince him, convince him, Omnimon. Yeah. Omnimon, enough. The clouds of my confusion have. Oh, damn, that was too fast. 
So the name of Royal Knights, I must repay this debt I owe the humans. Oh, <laughs> that's good news. Let humans and Digimon join together. I will do whatever I can to help. Yes. Oh, come on. You, you, you just had to come in and interrupt us, huh, Dinosmon? This guy is like a sworn enemy. Was he interrupted uh, when we were trying to recruit Gallantmon? Thankfully, Gallantmon is on our side. And I'm interrupting Magnamon too? Nah, nah. I'm gonna have to fight you out of this. If that's the only way, then be it. Oh, you're trying to convince Magnamon to not join and side with us humans. No, trust me. Yep. We're gonna fight him. <gasps> Magnamon's on our side, hell yeah! Oh, and let me tell you guys, this boss fight was pretty lengthy. Oh my god, I mean, we are fighting a royal knight. Whoa, why wouldn't we just look at that move? That was so sick. Bro. Look at my boy. <laughs> now let's try to finish him off with platinum junk. Obviously so effective against a uh, data type virus. Oh, an overkill with positron laser with Imperial Ramon. Boom, you're down Dinosmon. It's all over. Okay. After that, Dinosmon fled. And we all lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. After that, of course, we have to uh, go back to Kyoko, report back to her. <gasps> oh my god, yes! We got Harmonious Will for Magnamon, yeah! This is what Mirei told us that we need to get. Now we have both Harmonious Will and Steel Will. Who can tell us, Mon, you're next. I am back to when I talked about we went back to uh, report back to Kyoko and hell yeah bringing the good news Magnamon is on our side now throughout this uh, conversation between me and Kyoko I personally thought like why why does, does Kyoko know so much about Royal Knights yeah you know it had me thinking that maybe you're a Digimon in disguise or maybe a Royal Knight in disguise like Kishibe was you know but we'll put that matter aside and uh, we're gonna focus on Kintoro's Mon in the next episode yeah that's it for this video guys uh, please like and subscribe leave a like if you enjoyed this video subscribe for more and hit that notification bell so you'll get notified for whenever I upload uh, this voiceover is probably uh, my best way that I thought the solution to my disrupted uh, recording so yeah alright farewell people